At $35 million, it is the most expensive listing on Canada's housing market. And little wonder, the 30,000-square-foot home has 10 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms on a huge lot in uh, Toronto's big-ticket bridal path. CTV's Dana Levinson tried to uh, stay indefinitely, but she only got the tour. Welcome to 68, the bridal path. From the moment you walk inside this home, you can't help but feel that you are in another time and place. I feel like I'm in Versailles. This is 68, the bridal path, and is now the most expensive home on the market in Canada. For a mere $35 million, it can be yours. It just seems so storybook. Owner Hal Springer and his wife bought the home in one of Canada's most expensive neighborhoods 15 years ago. He says it was integral they keep the home in its glory and preserve the French chateau design, filling the home with art, finishings, and pieces from around the world that are reminiscent of the Louis XV period. Napoleon was painted in front of it. The property is two lots, four acres, and is 30,000 square feet. So this is the uh, living room or the grand room or the great room. This is the main area of the home, which also converts to a ballroom. There is also a French streetscape for the hallways. And take a look at the indoor pool room, built on steel and concrete. This room also converts into another ballroom. Even the guest bedroom is a replica of a room at the Ritz in Paris, keeping in line with the French castle style. The views, both front and back, are breathtaking. And what stands out beyond the sprawling French-style garden with its willow trees and Japanese maples is just how quiet it is. When you think of prominent properties in other major cities uh, of the world, I actually think the highest end of Toronto's real estate is undervalued by international standards. While this home is a one-of-a-kind and may be the only one like it on this side of the world, Springer may be right. In today's international real estate market, its asking price may be a steal. By comparison to the world, we're, I, don't, I hate to use a bargain and talk about a $35 million <laughs> mansion, right? but we really, we really are by comparison. Right? Real estate agent now. Barry Cohen says a property like this elevates Toronto to the world stage. The home has been on the market for six weeks and has had two offers. Springer himself doesn't believe the buyer will be from Toronto, but whoever it may be will enjoy living in the country in the middle of the city. Dana Levinson, CTV News. All right, getting a mortgage for a house like that, or any house for that matter, is about to get a bit more complicated. By the end of the year, all buyers will have to pass a stress test, verifying they can afford rates two points higher than their negotiated mortgage rate. What could this do to the national market? We're going to ask the agents. Sean Ziegelstein is with Royal LePage in Toronto. Steve Soretsky is a realtor with uh, Sutton West Coast in Vancouver. Steve, I'll begin with you. What do you make of this new rule? Yeah, I think it's pretty substantial. I mean, obviously, it's estimated it's going to bring down borrowing power by upwards of 20 to 25%. So I think that any time that you